day-to-day -day operation of the Commission. Another impressive structure to visit is the Law Courts of Brussels. This is the most important court building in Belgium, which was built between 1866 and 1883. Outside the building, there is a viewing point that allows you to see part of the city. Unfortunately, due to the bad weather, we can't see it clearly. Brussels is best explored by walking as there are places and buildings that might interest you, like on our way to the Grand Place. Because it's Christmas season when we visited, there are few Christmas markets, like this one at St. Nicholas Church, where you can find a variety of items and food. Just a short walk from St. Nicholas Church is the famous mannequin piece, depicting a naked little boy urinating on the basin of the fountain. The current statue is a replica which dates from 1965, while the original is kept in the Brussels City Museum. Mannequin piece is the best known symbol of the people of Brussels and just a short walk from the Grand Place. As you approach the Grand Place, there are interesting streets with lots of shops, restaurants, and cafes. When in Belgium, make sure you try their waffles, whether just on its own or with some toppings. There are plenty of shops to choose from, with prices ranging from 1 euro to more expensive ones. But I would recommend choosing a shop which sells them freshly cooked, as some of the cheaper places pre-cook them which don't taste nice. The streets around Grand Place are full of restaurants with plenty of different cuisines to choose from, including Asian, Italian, Mediterranean, and of course places which sell Belgian food such as the classic mussels with fries. I can also recommend the local dish of Carbonade Plomond, which is a Flemish beef stew cooked in beer. The Grand Place or Groot Market in Dutch is the most famous tourist destination in Brussels and the area is frequently used for festivals and cultural events, including the Christmas light show and free concerts in summer. The square is surrounded by many impressive buildings, including the town hall recognized by the Toll Tower, which is only the remaining medieval building. The other building which stands out is the King's House, which houses the city museum and is recognizable by the Gothic architecture and darker color. The remaining buildings around the square are guild house, restaurants, and private residences. The St. Hubert Royal Galleries is a shopping arcade in Brussels which has a similar design as other famous 19th century European shopping arcades such as the Galleria Vittorio Emmanuel II in Milan and the Passage in St. Petersburg in Russia. Inside the arcade are shops selling various items including those products well known to Belgium.
Your visit to Belgium will be incomplete without trying their French fries. There's a long dispute regarding the invention and ownership of these delicious fries between France and Belgium. Regardless of first invented it, you must try when in Belgium. One of the highlights of our visit to Brussels is the Christmas light show at the Grand Place as part of the Winter Wonders 2019 program. This is a 360 degree sound and light show on the facades of the Grand Place including the city hall around the theme of the enrichment of encounters. The light show starts after 5 p.m. and lasts for 8 minutes. If you miss the first show, don't worry because it happens every hour until 10 p.m. Brussels is amazing at night, with all those colorful Christmas lights that really sets your festive mood. We also visited another Christmas market where you can find lots of items, food and experience the Belgian festive way of celebrating Christmas. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more getaways, win well.